Hello, I am Jim Van Drunen, Vice President of Oshawa Sand and Gravel. We are an aggregate producer, currently have a fleet of six dump trucks and eight stone spreaders. We bought our first stone slinger in 1978. And through the years of operation, came up with ideas to make the product better. When we presented these ideas to the manufacturer, we were told that they had been building them for 20 years. Why would they change them for us? During the fall of 1996, we stopped in at Baylinks on a whim and have been a customer of theirs ever since. We immediately felt they wanted to work with us and they were generally concerned about their customers' needs. Over the years, we have purchased 15 stone spreaders from Baylinks, rotating newer models into the fleet as the designs changed and improved. We now operate eight multi-cat spreaders and we're very happy with them. In this business, to maximize profit, you need to increase payloads while reducing maintenance costs and downtime. Each new design from Baylinks did this, but they were at a point where they felt to lighten their steel bodies any further would compromise the strength of the unit. That following the dump industry's trend, aluminum was the only way to go. So we thought, if the spreader was going to be redesigned, we would redesign every aspect, from style of the body, to the weight on load, to the way the throw conveyor swings and throws. There is much less maintenance to keep an ultralight on the road. There is not one chain or sprocket to maintain. With the ultralight, we can haul an additional ton of material on every load. Based on an average of six loads per day, five days a week, 40 weeks in a year, Along with the reduced maintenance costs, I estimate the ultralight will put an additional $160,000 in my pocket over the life of the machine. Because we also deliver the materials that we produce, we also require that we have dump trucks in our fleet. With the high speed offload feature, the ultralight runs neck and neck with my dumps. And since there is virtually no weight difference between a steel dump and aluminum slinger, this unit will do dump and spreader loads each day. If we have a situation where there are clearance issues, we can send the ultralight. If he's running past one of our pits on the way back to the yard, he grabs a load and hauls in for our stock. I basically get two trucks in one. Anyone delivering aggregate for a living today definitely needs to seriously consider adding the ultralight to their fleet. This truck works all day, every day. The ultralight has met every one of our requirements. Bigger, better, stronger, faster, lighter.